the wild land of Africa, a place of mystery and adventure where animals roam free. Even though it's an animal kingdom, they don't always show up. It's getting dark and we have not seen any lion whatsoever. Concealed in the grasses of the savannah, we're driving around searching for the unexpected at Addo Elephant Park in South Africa. They said there is a pool where the elephants always gather at about 12. The ele elephants like to spend there in the day to cool themselves down. In the evening, the other animals may come and to water at the watering hole. And we were given a map to bed because I'm a terrible map reader. <laughs> well, you can learn how to read a map. So we were here and we need to go right down to Hapur Dam. Yeah, you can see the natural habitats. Now we're on the lookout for animals. We didn't spot anything. We were just wondering, why are we not seeing the trees? Enjoy. So every time a car stops, other cars will, spot, will stop as well because they think we spotted something. Look, another car is stopping. There is a car and it stopped. Did it see anything? Oh my God, an elephant. Oh, there's more. There's a few elephants here. Wow. Okay, these are the first elephants. How does it feel being so close to an elephant? Very close to death. But it's amazing. It's a mix of fear and amusement. Fear, 80% of the time. They are actually eating thorny bushes. The thorns are like this huge. And it doesn't worry their stomach at all. I read that you, you should not make a lot of noise because it can frighten the elephants and of course then can go crazy and we don't want that, but I'm sure they wouldn't. Oh, there are some bugs there. Wait, wait. In safaris like this, you are not allowed to leave your car. Otherwise, with dead meat. Got out of the car, just as well the lions didn't get them. So they gave us a number to call in case we have a flat tire or any other emergency. Because there's lions. Yeah, there are lions, yeah. Oh yeah, lions. Oh my. <laughs> Yeah. It's so hot and if it wasn't so dangerous, I wouldn't mind just going for a waddle in the mud. Yeah. As the sun starts going down, you might find some of the animals come about four o'clock to drink, so. Don't blame them, it's really hot. It's hot. So we are getting out of the car. I'm not going. She was in a state because we got to get out of the car and get into that fenced area so the lions can't get us. But you just look around and, and see that there's no lions. And you see there's an electric fence. But they are Once hard. In there. They are hard to spot. Of course you will see no lions. How do you think they get their prey? I am not going. So, where are you going? Inside. Are you leaving me? Yeah. 
Yes! It's each one is for themselves. I gotta get the bags from the car. Leave them, they're not important. We go so the lions can't get in. Oh, so this is a view of the savannah. Are you sure they cannot get in here? There's a fence there. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, maybe I'm just freaking out for nothing, but better safe than sorry. So where does this lead us? This leads us to the hide. What is a hide? A hide is a place where you can hide okay. and look out for animals. It was too obvious. I obviously knew what a hide is. I'm not stupid. I may seem stupid, but I'm not. <laughs> Ow! Ow. Eve, there are thorns here. So the animals can't see you. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. While we were rushing back to the car. And I was putting things back in the car. The phone fell. And the screen cracked, while well, the screen protector cracked. Thank God we had a screen protector on. So yeah, never rush to do things. Don't rush to live. other pool now because the animals might be bathing. Drinking at the water hole. You're gonna try a few of them but tomorrow we will start a lot earlier. It seems like they open at 7 here for day visitors so that's what we're gonna do. Wow they are so cool. I had just said to Stephen, I want to see those beetles. They, boom, showed up. It was like, ah, I think they show up when it's fresher. So those beetles, they don't actually eat the poo. They, I think, I don't think they eat the poo. They lay their eggs inside the poo and they carry the poo with their eggs inside. So they are pretty much carrying their family, right? And now we need to be really careful when we drive because they are out on the road and we cannot just run the car over them because first of all, that would be too mean. And second, they are one of the attractions of this park. This is actually the chart of points for each animal you spot. So we just made eight points with the beetles. <laughs> Yeah, there's lots of elephants at an elephant and park. Elephant poo all over. What are you having? This is an incredibly wild animal. Chicken burger. <laughs> His chicken burger? Mine is just a normal burger. We came, there were no animals apart from some ducks and birds. And now we are just going to the next pond. Let's see if we get lucky this time. Jessica animal. They're so big. I think it may have been a jackal. Good spot though. Nayara spotted it. <laughs> I made another point. Yay! How many points did I make? 
Let's look. Uh, let's see if... Uh, a black back jackal. There we go. I made one point. It's a black back jackal. A pool. One just made a pool on the car. Man, that's bizarre. It's so cute though. Day two of Edo Elephant Park, and today we are gonna try find animals that we didn't find yesterday. That being lions and buffaloes. And we are around this area up here, and the lions were spotted here. Just from here to here, which is like the middle of the park, it takes about one and a half hours or about an hour drive. So let's get going. We had not seen the buffalo up until now, since we entered the park. We didn't know what it was, because it's lying down. And I said to Stephen, look, what is that? I said, buffalo. Buffalo. <laughs> we have been driving down for a few hours now, and we finally drove across this road, and our final destination is here, at least for now. <laughs> They don't seem like phased by the presence of humans. Probably because a lot of people drive here every day, so they're just used to it. I wonder if they saw something because they stopped. Do you think it's a lion? Why is it up here? Look at these huge thorns. Are they big? Look how huge they are. Whoa. They're thick as well, eh? Almost as thick as, as a pinky almost. Wow. As my pinky at least. <laughs> it's getting dark and we have not seen any lion whatsoever. So we've gone the Nugulubi loop over here and we're down here. So we have a choice uh, if we go back up here or if we go on one of these loops, I think we might go back up so that we can be close to the entrance when for, for closing time 
and then there's also a lot of water holes up here. How so. long will it take us to get back, roughly? I think over an hour. So probably, we got probably a... an hour or two. So. so we're really racing against the clock now. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. We should make it. Oh. Did you see any lions? We might yes. still see some lions. Right? Where there is a way, there is a hope. And there are a lot of ways back. <laughs> <laughs> self-catering place guys look at how much food on this green pastures where are the lions oh we didn't see a secretary either I keep on seeing things on the road and thinking they are road kills, but no, actually they are elephant poop <laughs> and there is just so much on the road. <laughs> Looks like somebody has got a flat tire. If you ever get a flat tire, you should call the emergency number they give you. You should not get out by yourself and try do it because it's very dangerous for the animal, right? Wow, there's a jackal drinking by the water hole. Can you see? It's, it's a jackal drinking. A black-backed jackal. There we go. Look, look, look. There we go, yeah. Look at it. He came for a drink. You see, he was speaking to somebody else. Yeah, he was speaking to another jackal. Wow, amazing. Amazing. And then he runs off into the distance. That jackal back there howling. Amazing. We didn't expect it to howl like that. And Stephen said, film it, film it. And I was like, we already, I thought, we already filmed one yesterday. But then it started howling. And you could hear it another one howling back at it in the distance. Yeah, it was communicating to, to, to another one. Amazing. It gave me goosebumps. It was so oh, no. beautiful. Oh, no. Today was our final day here in Edo. We still have a lot more to explore in South Africa, so I would invite you to subscribe to our channel so that you can see the next videos. Also, leave your thumbs up if you enjoy this content, and I will see you guys in the next one. And please, we like reading your comments, so please leave your comments down below and tell us what part you enjoy the most, okay? So we see you in the next one. Bye-bye.